So, um, if you don't want anything rude, just share out now. That's all I need. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right then, over to you, Heather. Okay. Well, I've heard you're spending a penny, but I've got a feeling in my loins. And every time I wait for a wee, I pass out a couple of coins. <laughs> Five p's, ten p's, twenty p's. I found it so uncanny. But every time I wait for a wee, there's your money for that, my fanny. <laughs> I was worried to went to my doctor. He said, calm down, it's not really that strange. It's ever so common in women your age. You just go through the change. <laughs> 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 slower than a snail and you can't be bothered to answer the phone you keep letting it go to voicemail <laughs> and your timekeeping is abysmal even when you work from home your presentation is not professional you're always eating crisps on zoom and you just don't have the bandwidth for our expanding globalization and you've made no attempt to upskill you're just going through the motions and so we try to be positive don't worry you've not been fired what we're trying to say in a transparent way is clear your desk, you've been unfired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
his thunder vacuum. His sphincter clamped to her and the jar and it vanished off his bum. <laughs> <laughs> Rushed him up to the theatre and stripped his buttocks bare. They stuck a big tube up his arse and pumped him full of air. <laughs> they had to be so careful not to break or crack the glass. Just one sip would be nasty and could perforate his arse. Once his rectum was fully expanded, the vacuum exploded in noisy release. <laughs> and the jam jar that wish of his bum shattered slowly but still in one piece. So the moral of the story is, if you don't want your innards to burst, if you're going to stick and dry up your taxi, make sure the lid's on it first. <laughs> <laughs> Substantiation, multiplication, diversity. 